Hey and welcome back to another video and in today's video we're going to discuss the Apple Human Interface Guidelines also known as the HIG. So Apple provides documentation on how to use certain frameworks but there's also another resource they have for design, designers and developers and this is the Human Interface Guidelines which is documentation about how the Apple design ecosystem works. So this document explains the rules and guidelines that you should follow for Apple applications on all platforms such as iPhones, Macs, tablets and watches and also as well the controls are available to you to use within these platforms and how you should use them when you should use them and also things not to do so let's actually load up the guidelines you should see a website pop here on developer.apple.com and it's just titled here human interface guidelines design apple developer so if you just click on this link here this will load up the page and you should see the platforms that you're able to view more information about and if you scroll down you'll actually notice that you have the technologies available to you with their guidelines but what we're going to do is actually just start off with iOS so let's go into iOS and you can see here that when you load the page you actually have a navigation here with resources videos and telling you like what's new so you can see what's new and check out any interesting videos and whatnot so that's pretty interesting um, but the main thing that I want to cover here is this left hand side here so you can see here on iOS it actually has all the different sections that are like available to you and give you information about you know ways that you can actually build and use your applications and design them for iOS but what I want to do is just go to we just go to visual design adaptivity and layout you'll notice here that this section actually explains all the design all the device screen sizes and orientations available to you for iPads and iPhones and also as well it explains to you how auto layout works you know layout guides and safe areas and all this information so if you're someone who's stuck and you want to know like how to use buttons and what the guidelines are then your best bet is to come here and actually look for it i.e. if we go to controls and then buttons and then you want to read through how you should actually use buttons within your apps and how you should design them as well. Think of this as a Bible in terms of how you should actually design your applications for Apple. Now, we've spoken about all the different sections here, and I'm not going to go through every single section because there's quite a lot. So I advise you go through them just to check them out and, you know, hopefully you'll learn something new. But what I want to do is just discuss technologies. So Apple always comes out with new technologies available every single year at WWDC. And this section here, technologies, actually explains how you should actually design and use these technologies as well we just go to something like in-app purchases you'll notice here that it actually has a breakdown of what in-app purchases are and how you should use them as well so you can actually learn more about the different types of in-app purchases it also gives you instructions and you know guidelines in terms of how to design for in-app purchases as well and also other features that are available within that technology so this is really useful if you want to learn everything related to a Apple technology that you want to use within your application. It's also worth noting as well, if you're someone who actually wants to track changes that are happening within the interface guidelines, like I said before, if you go to what's new, this will actually almost give you like some kind of release notes that you're able to see all the new things that are being added to the guidelines. And you can see here, you can actually subscribe to an RSS feed to get updates for whatever new things are added so you can keep up to date. As you can see, it's quite a lot to go through and it's not really something that you've got to study and understand within a day. But what I do recommend is that when you're working with a button or if you want to learn how to do like TV design, map design, watch designs, I'd highly recommend that you check out this document and actually like read and look for what may be suitable for your use case. Okay, cool. So that's everything in this video. It's just quite a quick video just to show you this resource and how handy it is. If you enjoyed this video, I really appreciate it if you give this video a thumbs up. Also as well, if you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it if you could leave a comment in the comment section below so I can get feedback as well as subscribe to the channel by hitting the subscription button and the bell for notifications so you can get updates whenever I release a new video. That's everything from me. I'll catch you on a bit. Deuces.